everybody. I am Austin from Texas. Austin from Texas. Okay. Who thinks Austin can do it for the males? Who thinks Stacy can do it for the females? Females are backing you up a little bit better than I like it. Okay, here we go. Same dealio. Question number three. Oh, we need some new buzzers. Of course we do. Oh, how could I forget? Okay, males, what should the females do? Horse impression. Horse impression. Horse impression. Let's go, Stacey. I want to hear your best horse impression. Me! Oh, it's a nice, sweet sounding horse, isn't it? Nice work. Okay, Austin, what should Austin have females? A dinosaur. <laughs> now that is interesting. A dinosaur. I want your best dinosaur person. Everybody be, be careful. It's going to be kind of loud. Okay, everyone. <laughs> Whoa, I'm out of here. Wow, well, well, there you go. So we have our dinosaur impersonation and we have our horse impersonation. It's a pretty pony. That's a nice way of putting it. Okay, here we go. Here's our question. Listen up. What is the most romantic gesture a man can make to a woman? <laughs> I think I heard the horse. It doesn't matter if you're allowed, it's the first one to buzz it in. You can't take it over. Okay, Stacey, you did get in there just, you just got in there with that sweet, pretty pony. Okay, what's your answer? With roses? It's going to be the same as sending flowers or candy. That is number one on our list. The females are taking the first possession of the game. Okay. All right, now, females, you yell it out to Stacey, give you your answers yeah, now. You feeling pretty good, Stacey? Okay, so remember you have three strikes and you have four answers, okay? And the first one's already been done, which is send flowers or sending candy, roses, all in the same category. Okay. Next answer. Alright. Diamonds or jewelry? Diamonds or jewelry? Woo! Woo! <laughs> but that is not on our list. Oh, I know. That is not on our list. So that is your first strike. You need to think a little bit better than this. Okay, come on, Stacey. You can do it. How about a candlelight dinner? A candlelight dinner. That is number two on our list. So that is either making dinner or taking you out to dinner or candlelit dinner. That is all in the same category. That is very romantic. Okay. You've got one strike and you have three answers. Let's go. Poetry. Poetry. What do we think, everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I like the enthusiasm, and that is number four on our list. Really? They'll also go with writing notes or writing a card, poem, etc. You've got two more answers with two strikes remaining. Breakfast in bed. <laughs> Breakfast in bed. That is our second strike. That is not on our list. Singing? It could be romantic. <laughs> it's, it's a possibility, but there's also a lot of chance of it not being so That's romantic. Get the words. That is not on our list. So that is three strikes, Stacey. Okay, so it's going over to you, Austin. Okay, so what we've got so far, we've got our number one answer, sending flowers, roses, candy. We've got two, making, uh, making or taking you out to dinner. You need to find three. Number four was writing a note, card or poem. And number five, you still need to find the answer. You've only got one chance. Only one chance. So the pressure's on, so mouths quickly yell out your answers. I don't know what she said. She's still helping her out. <laughs> Alright, okay. 
You need to take I'm one answer for what public. just got called out. Uh, yeah, I would have to say public affection, so just holding hands. Public affection, holding hands. Nope. That is number five on our list. Hugging, kissing, anything like that. That is number five, which means the guys take another point for the males, which means it's two to one. Let's hear it for the males. Stacey and Austin, you may take a seat. We need two more people from the audience. Come on up. What was number three?